I will start by testing rotator cuff muscles. So locking your elbows at your sides, I would like for you to try to push your hands together, squeezing and testing subscapularis, testing for any pain or weakness. Next, we'll test infraspinatus and teres minor by attempting external rotation. And then we'll test supraspinatus with an empty bottle can testing. So thumbs down, shoulders uh, abducted, externally rotated, um, out to about 45 degrees, and then go ahead and lower your arms down just a little. And hold your hands here, don't let me push your hands towards your thighs, testing for pain or weakness on both sides. Next we'll move into long head of the biceps tendon, testing with speeds tests, so palms straight out, pushing straight up towards the ceiling, and asking for any pain uh, with this test. Now we'll test more impingement tests uh, with a nears test, so I'd like for you to give me a thumbs down sign, and then bring your arm up past your ear, and we're uh, trying to elicit pain in the setting of impingement in this test. So if that was painful, um, additional tests would be a crossover test, reaching across your body, asking for any pain there. Um, then you can also perform a Hawkins test. Reminder here, arm will uh, flap like a hawk, so Hawkins test, and all we're going to do is drop the hand down with Hawkins test, and we're seeing if we can elicit any pain, and you can perform a crossover test with Hawkins at the same time, and those are sensitive for shoulder impingement or bursitis. Labrum tests, there are no fabulous tests, but you can perform an O'Brien's test, uh, pushing uh, both hands out, thumbs down. I'm going to have you push up and across your body into my hands, and if this is painful, then you'll test with thumbs up and pushing in the same directions, seeing if the patient has resolution or improvement of pain with that test. In that case, if it was painful with thumbs down and then pain improves or resolves with thumb up, that would be a positive O'Brien's test. You can also test one, one additional test for biceps tendonitis is Jurgensen's test. So, uh, in this exam, you're going to make sure, remind the patient to keep their elbow located right at their side. Uh, as the examiner, I'm going to palpate and press right into the long head of the biceps and into the biceps groove. And my instructions to the patient are to squeeze my hand tightly and then move through an upside down half circle from palm down to palm up and tell me if this is painful in the process. And then I oftentimes will have them do it a second time because sometimes it isn't painful the very first. Go for it again. And once again, not painful there. So a negative Jurgensen's test as well. There are some specific uh, labrum tests that you can do, such as a shift and load test. So now I will have you lay flat on your back here. And all we're going to do is load the shoulder and apply an axial force through the humerus pushing the humeral head in different directions to see if we can irritate, in this case, the anterior labrum, more of the superior, or maybe an AC joint injury, or posterior aspect of the labrum pushing backwards through the humerus in that case. And those are a number of the specific uh, special tests for the shoulder.